Hey here, back at it again with a different kind of video. Hope you're staying safe, staying healthy. If you're new, click subscribe. If you're returning, appreciate you. In Montreal, exploring, seeing the sights, uh, just walking out and about, and uh, gonna go on a little trek here. It's like a park, Mont Royal. Uh, this is just a little sampler here, greenery, very nice. Um, yeah, we'll get a nice viewpoint of Montreal itself and uh, see if there's any cracks and crevices that we can unearth and uh, share it with y'all. Stay tuned. Getting here, there's a few options. You could walk, would not recommend. Uh, you could cycle or you could take the bus. There's a number 11 bus. There's a lot of construction, so be weary of where you're at. Uh, just because there, the street we were on is Mont Royal, uh, Rue de Mont Royal. And um, yeah, they made it a walking street, so a bunch of bullards, uh, wooden benches, and all that jazz. So it was a little, little tricky. Um, but we eventually found the temporary bus stop. So we rode it to the very top. There's two stops. There's one overlooking uh, the second last stop. There's a nice view overlooking the, it's like a, I don't know, 270 degree lookout of Montreal itself. So we're going to this same one, uh, trekking through. Nice shady area now. Yeah, I can only imagine how it would be during winter time, but then again, it's a little tricky just because of the snow, you gotta get like proper snowshoes because walking this in summer conditions, it's a little, little bit of a trek. But with snow, you already know in Montreal, you can get a little, uh, at least a couple of feet for sure. And I don't think they maintain it up here just because it's quite the base. Yeah. Like one to two minutes in, get that heart rate going, that cardio decent amount of walking. I wish they really paved this road, but uh, it's all good. Uh, maybe we'll catch the sunset. Stay tuned. <laughs> Folks, we're getting close to the money shot here. There's some portables though. Wait. Seems like they're reworking this to be like a nice restaurant or a building of some sort. Stay tuned. Ready? It's a nice little balcony situation here, folks. Let's, let's do a reveal together. Nice tall hat skyscrapers are starting to engulf the city now. That's awesome. So, just one last uh, look overlooking. Let's take a look together. Nice and relaxing. It's starting to get, I mean, like, progressively as you, uh, you know, as the years go on, they're building it out, so it's a much more um, awesome attraction. 
I mean, like, it's something different, something cool. Yeah, it's great. Great view. Sun is setting. Um, maybe there's like a flower kind of arrangement. I don't know. But uh, this video will continue to explore. Let's get it. You see so many people chilling at the stairs here, trying to beat the heat. But look at these flowers. one of those things where it's like a cool chill spot where people just like run around cycle up I mean like I could never cycle up it was a massive steep incline I'll kind of take a video on the bus going down but there's a nice pathway here a lot of mosquitoes but nice pathway indeed I'll show you all We're getting in the thick of it now. It's cool contrast. The greenery with the buildings in the background. Kind of gets you thinking. This is like a mini hike right now. These probably took a lot of effort to build out these stairs and it's probably darn dangerous when it snows when it rains um but yeah we'll just kind of walk through this see how far we get and uh, this is a part of the experience this is a part of like just exploring just like see where the road takes us the trail the path fun exciting little different details i mean like this is just as ad hoc as it can get. <clears throat> I mean, like, I'm not a hiking trail kind of person, but the thing is, though, this is quite nice. You can get a break from, like, the big city life. Just come in, take a deep breath, just relax with all the nature. And uh, we have come to a fork in the road to make a left or keep going straight. Probably just continue on. Seems like majority of the individuals are doing that. Just going down is much easier than going up for sure. Big crowd coming up. Whew. Quite the intense steps here. Yeah, I would definitely not want to do this when it's like raining and whatnot. But it's all good. Whew. So this is the hike she meant. Oh, I see. So this, my friend has done this hike, and I guess it's these stairs. But we're cheating a little bit. We took the bus all the way to the top and just walking it down, just relaxing. Whew. Still a workout. Still a workout indeed. Ooh, let's see the descent. Yeah, I would not want to be the first person to ascend this. Oh man, especially without stairs. <laughs> not quite sure what kind of animals you would run into, that's for sure. Ooh. 
finally we're getting close to the landing here. Whew. Anyways, nice to kind of just take a deep breath and relax. It's nice. But yeah, I would not want to do the other side of things. <laughs> it's quite a bit going uphill. Nice and relaxing, actually. <clears throat> kind of curious if there's any uh, wild animals like bears, cougars, squirrels, raccoons, and all those things. But I'm pretty sure. Just don't want to kind of like trek this during nightfall because it would be quite intense. <sighs> Finally made it. Check out this little bit to see where to next. Alrighty, so we're not quite sure where the bus stop is, so we'll just keep following this path. We'll eventually stumble upon it, but this winding path continues. Especially at sunset or even darker because to be honest with you it's starting to get dark real quick I mean like with all these tall trees I mean like now I understand why I'm back home they say park is closed beach is closed at ten, uh, 10 o'clock it's just dangerous like I don't know even with summer as well like it gets dark 9 30 or so uh, 10 o'clock, like especially during those fall months, like September, October, November, December, etc. Yeah, it's just so dark, like a lot of trouble can happen. A lot of those animals can come out and attack you. And it's just one of those things, especially in the forest like this, like they reworked it very nicely with this like, um, this is like a steel kind of railings, iron or whatever. Um, and yeah, just in general, I mean, like, that's not going to protect you from any animals, for sure. And they have this, like, canal work as well to drain the water, so it's nice. Eventually, we will find the bus stop. It's just a matter of, like, cutting through the mountain. Enjoying the walk, but not going up, that's for sure. Walking down, it's a nice break from the city life for sure. It seems like we're just cutting through because it winds, but we're just taking a nice shortcut, so it's good. It's a road very near in deer, so that's good. When you hear that road with cars, you know you're getting close to where you need to go to get back to the city. I honestly am not from a big city, but I can never handle roughing it just outdoors. It's nice and peaceful to break out of the ordinary, but at the same time though, I like convenience. I like having warm meals, showers, laundry. Anything manual I could not do. As much as I say I could, I could not, but yeah. Alrighty, seems like there's a little... Let's continue on. Woo! After a long day of walking, it's nice. We did some digging, but nothing materialized from it, so it's quite painful. What's that? Oh yeah. Alrighty folks, I, I see a very busy street, so that's a good sign for us. Let's just recap here. Ooh. 
I want to take a photo of the beginning part. It's nice. Alrighty, so we're just gonna jet to the bus stop now. Ooh, nice shortcut to the downtown. Here, just a recap of Mont Royal in Montreal, Quebec here. So it's a nice overlooking, I want to say it's like a 270 degree view of uh, Montreal there where you can see the financial district, the downtown, and um, yeah, it's a nice widespread view of Montreal. Uh, pretty straightforward uh, sightseeing. If you ever go to Montreal, uh, if you are there for more than a day, or you're there for half a day, uh, definitely tuck that in there uh, because when it comes to going there, it's a pretty straightforward instance. You take one bus. It's very minimal in terms of walking because the bus takes you to the very, very top. Uh, the moment you are at the top, it's like probably a five minute walk to get to the, the spanning lookout. Uh, shortly afterwards as well, you have uh, two options. You can take the bus down or you could take the scenic route. Um, I was just re-watching the video and just going based off memory, I did take the scenic route with my friend. It did take a little longer just because what we ended up doing was we took the scenic route, uh, just be immersed in nature, just get the hiking side of things. If a lot of active and fit individuals, they partake in the stairs and the hike side of things. So it was quite interesting there. And um, also, like, going back as well, we... I'm trying to remember what university it was. It was like McGill. But uh, it was like a Harry Potter, Hogwarts, kind of like European-esque, like, university where it looks very deeded. Uh, it has like that gothic like architecture there. What was quite interesting to see. Um, but yeah, in terms of just like Mont Royal, it's very awesome to see the spanning views of Montreal, seeing how expansive it is and just comparing and contrasting how it's different from like uh, major mega cities in Asia or even America that Montreal is in its infancy stage although uh, one of the largest cities in Canada I believe it's it's Toronto then Montreal and then of course like uh, Calgary Edmonton etc but uh in terms of and then Vancouver uh, but in terms of just like the hierarchy, uh, although just being uh, the second biggest city in Canada uh, with inhabitants of, I think, like 2 million individuals or maybe even one. I can't remember. Probably greater Montreal area is like three. And then uh, just Montreal in general is probably like one or two. Don't quote me on that. But just viewing the overlooking... Uh, view of Montreal, downtown Montreal. It's still in its infancy stage, uh, just because, I mean, like, until the entire s uh, skyline is just sweeping and, like, concealed by skyscrapers, then, of course, I would say it's beyond uh, development there, but it's still uh, in its infancy stage. It still could be busier. It could still have more services, but it's a uh, nice breathtaking uh, compare and contrast compared to Vancouver. Although Vancouver has like a smaller downtown, uh, Montreal was quite interesting and unique in that regard. But yeah, I'll leave it at that. I'm rambling. Uh, if you're new, click subscribe. If you're returning, appreciate you. Take care, signing off, and 
Hope you're enjoying this Montreal series. Bye for now.